Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add the plate carrier back into your DAISY custom private community servers for Xbox, PlayStation and PC. So we're just going to be playing around with the XML files. Um, as I record this video, we're on update 113 and what happened with 113 is the plate carrier stopped spawning in in normal um, loot around the map and was only or can only be found on zombies. So um, yeah, so by the time you watch this video, that may well have changed anyway, but you'll be able to use this video to increase the amount of plate carriers that spawn in on your um, on your map or change their location as well. So as with most things mucking around with the loot economy in Daisy, it all starts off with the XML. So the XML file we're interested in is the types that XML don't, don't worry. After this, I will show you how to do this using the web browser. Say you're on Xbox or PlayStation, and that's how you edit your Nitrado servers. But we're just going to look at the files first. So the file you want to download, you want to back up, and you want to open up in your favorite text editor is types.xml. Um, and once you've got that open up, you want to find, uh, yeah, have a look for the carrier. That's, that's a good search term. And what you'll find is there's the plate carrier holster and the plate carrier pouches that fix to the plate carrier to make it more useful. But then if we get a look at the plate carrier itself, we can see that it's the nominal and the minimum are set to zero. So this will not spawn as normal normal loot. So what we want to do is start off with let's let's increase that. So um, let's change that to ten and let's put the minimum to eight. Now, if we look at the uh, the flags for it, it's only ever counted in the map anyway. So as people pick the plate carriers up and start wearing them, more will spawn in. So that's good. And then we can see that it's Cluster's Clothing. Uh, its usage name is Military. And it will be found in Tier 4 and Tier 3 locations. So that means on Chernerus up towards the northwest. So northwest Airfield and Tizzy. Let's say we wanted to change the location. What we could do is we could say copy that and we could paste that and we could put tier two so then it would be more sort of the middle of the map if we got rid of all of the tiers completely it would spawn at any military location anywhere on the map as well um, and let's say we wanted to spawn it in like a village or something like that um, if we just scroll down to the pliers here we see we've got username industrial farm village what we could do so we could copy those usage names and we could put them underneath military and then it would also spawn in at industrial places farm places and villages now with a rare item like the plate carrier i don't tend to really recommend doing that sort of stuff because the problem with that is you're spreading the loot out more and people would expect to find military stuff in military locations and if instead it's going to be in a um in a in a farm in a barn then you know they're not going to be thinking about loot doing that so let's get rid of that um in fact tell you, let's keep them up there so what you could do at the same time is if you wanted to you could increase the uh, number the nominal and the minimum for the plate carrier pouches and the plate carrier holster so more of the accessories spawn in as well although do bear in mind again they're only counted in the map so as people pick up a plate carrier holster to use it with their plate carrier another one will spawn in somewhere else um, if you wanted to make the plate carriers spawn in um, pristine as well what you could do is if you go into cfg spawnable types xml and then if you look at the top where it says damage 0.3 to 0.7 this is how damaged or not damaged stuff will spawn in on your server so if you change the minimum to 0.1 and the maximum to 0.2 everything will then spawn in pristine so it lasts longer and it and it's better so that's how you could do that as well um, while we're here, uh, if you have a look at CFG random presets, you can see that the reason why the plate carrier vest doesn't spawn in and where it does spawn is, is that it is um, one of the presets for uh, heavy armor zombies. So you can see uh, the preset heavy armor, army, army, item name, plate carrier vest, chance one, attachment chance one. So it means that heavy armor zombies will spawn in with the plate carrier vest normally. But by adding... Um, uh, increase numbers to the uh, nominal and minimum in our types that XML there we go we have now made them spawn in so you would save that upload it to your server restart the server you'd be good to go 
Now, how would you do this on Nitrado or from the web? Now, what you want to do, just bear in mind the, the, the text, uh, the line number we're on. So we're at 12191 because it can, this can be a little bit tricky. So if you go over to your um, server on oh, Nitrado, go into the web interface. And then we want to go to the file browser. And we want to go into the missions folder, Daisy missions. And we want to go into the Daisy offline .cherinus plus missions folder. Like so, and then we want to go into the DB direct directory. And then we want to go into the types.xml. Now this is a large file, so it can take a while to download. And in fact, sometimes when, you, when you're using um, the web to do this, the search functions don't look don't work very well. So again, let's just go back to this. So we know that it's on line twelve one nine one. So you see these lines here. So it means with a bit of luck, we we'll have to find it. It's all in alph alphabetical order anyway. This. So it's loading in now. Oh, gone too far. Twelve one nine one. It was, wasn't it? Or was it not? Twelve one nine one. Twelve one nine one. We're going far enough. Up we go. Are right, getting there? Plate carriers. Here we go. So there's the plate carrier holster. There's the plate carrier pouches, and there's the plate carrier vest. Let's just highlight that so you can see it a bit better. As you can see, set at nominal, minimum zero. So what we could do is we could go into this. My browser is running very, very, very slowly. We could change that to, uh, say, 10. Change the minimum to 8. We'll leave the others as they are. And then we would save changes there. The configuration file will save successfully. Hit restart, and they will then start spawning in um, in the server. Now, bear in mind though that there's only ten, so that's still a very rare item to find. So, if you're the members of your servers are coming back and saying, "I can't find them," I don't know where they are straight away. Just say, "Look, just have a little patience, chaps. They will be there because you know I've done the hard work with my XMLs." Right, there we go. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. If you want me to do particular tutorials on adding or taking away or whatever you like with, with uh, DAISY files, spe specifically XMLs, because they're the easiest ones to, to work on to make a difference to your server, let me know. Put it, the questions in the uh, comments down below, and I will add them to my list of videos to make. Anyway, thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.